Welcome to Brian's Backyard Garden on uh, the New American Media special presentation. Hey Brian, what's, up, what's, uh, what's going on today? Alright, so here's what's going on. We're in the backyard and we're going to be making some food, doing some stuff. So I put some water together into this container. I'm going to grab some green tea. I'm just going to go ahead and toss these in. Ah, finally, spring is finally here. Yeah, sort of. Los Angeles. But it's yeah. hard to complain. Back yeah, it's going to drop down to 65 Wednesday, but uh, yeah, it's probably 25 in a bunch of places. I'm in the, the TNAM Grow Something group and the TNAM Food and Drink asking, hey, any of you guys growing anything? Are you working in the garden? I'm getting pictures back going, dude. And it's like <laughs> full of snow. So, you know, you get a yeah. nice day, you get a bunch of lousy days. But anyway, if you take a look here, I'm just going to try to smash these, get them uh, saturated a little bit. And I'm just going to go Can you ahead. put weights on them? I mean, I've never done this before, so... It's I don't curious. Know. It probably doesn't matter. As long as you get so it I'm wet, gonna, though. I'm gonna good. go like that, and I think, like if it's pretty watertight, yeah, I should be able to go like that. But I'm gonna let it brew in the sun. We got this off of the. Oh yeah, we got a grapefruit tree. Not be able to see it through this uh, wall there, but it's there. Yeah, so that's our lemon tree, the sister. Yeah, it was here first. It's doing okay. We got some lemons coming in already. Yeah. See a little guy. Start green. It looks like little black key lines. White flowers. Down, there's two, uh, strawberries. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, cool. And on the right side, more strawberries. Yeah. So that's the last day of March, so yeah. Cool. Spring is April. upon us. Yeah. We gotta have a new thing April Foods Day. <laughs> okay, well. I don't well, know what we do for April Foods well, Day. Well, this will probably be the video because it's probably when it be, be released. When it's <laughs> I'm an idea edited. guy. I come with ideas and I want, you know, let's make it. In. Anyway, I took this off. And what I'm gonna do is I sharpen this. Um, you got to make sure you're, you're sharpening your equipment. Keep it safe. Um, here, take a spin this one. All right. Nice shot of this. Maybe get a close up. Okay. Just done, right? And we'll cut to this. Take the outer rind off just so I don't infuse the sourness ah, of the rind. So, oh man, it's so juicy. It's gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna take some of this off. This will all go into compost, mind you. Oh, yeah, it's right over there. But all I'm gonna do is just make some slices. Extreme close up on this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Does it get better than that? That's our fresh this right here. fruit off the tree. Right. Hold on. Ready? Yep. No, both of us. <laughs> Dead in there. <laughs> That's our thumbnail fiction. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm just going to kind of drop these in. I wonder how much volume it's going to take up. Filled it up a little rim. too much. I'll just add this to my personal water. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to drop some honey. Oh, yeah. The extreme close up here. Sweet. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get these, uh, there we go, get those off. This is all green tea, so this is a grapefruit, green grapefruit sun tea. Yes. Try to get some of that uh, honey mixed around. Okay, so, hang on, I'm gonna try some. That's good. Okay, what we're gonna do now. Oof, this is, uh, this is what the grill looks like the first uh, time you use it in the year, I guess. Yeah, That's so all right. I'm going to have to go through and, and give this a quick once-over, dump out all the ash. 
brush that off. Isn't that where all the flavor is? Like they say in the... Never mind. Yeah, actually, just <laughs> give me one second. Dude. They made a Married with Children episode about that. Yeah, I hope it's the flavor, dude. <laughs> right. No, man, I'm good. Well, the secret's in the ashes, Steve. <laughs> See, I never clean my grill. Ashes from the past for burgers of the future. Right, as a traditionalist going for the uh, charcoal grill. Yeah, so apparently everybody has like these smokers, these wood smoker things, pellet smokers, wood smokers. I gotta get one. I don't know. They are pretty For now, I'm just gonna rock the classic. <laughs> All right, peruse the garden or edit this out, I don't know. But yeah, everything's blooming. Very uh, cold and wet winter here, so it should be an epic spring. Okay. Oh, there's another grill over here. It's probably a pretty good amount to get started with, I would say. Kind of go up in a pyramid to get it lit. So we'll get that going in a little bit. Now, what I want to show you over here, this is going to be fun. I hope. Or it's going to be a dud. Or we're going to edit it out. I can be Geraldo Rivera. Yeah. This could be oh, Al yeah. Capone's vault. Oh, I got an, an old mat. This is a tarp. A tarp, yeah. Now this is an example. This is a sweet potato. Now all those holes, those are the potato bugs. They dig it. They dig it a lot. So this one came out. They might be planted in both of these. I don't know, but I know they're in here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay this out. Back up. Just go. Alright, let's do it on half of this. Okay, we're going to harvest sweet potatoes. Game plan here. This is empty at the bottom, see? Oh, cool. This is supposed to, as it grows, we keep adding soil to it. Uh, and you just to elongate it. Interesting. I've never seen that. Yeah, so these are the vines, and all the potatoes grow at the end of the vines. This one's growing too. I might transplant that one in here once this is out. So here we go. Moment of truth. Yep. Wish me luck. Yep. See, it's cool because you don't have to, to dig this way. Yeah. That is a little guy. Ah, there you go. There's a couple. What's the normal growing season for uh, sweet potatoes, Brian? You know, the weird thing about growing seasons and what people are supposed to do, I have no idea what people are supposed to do. Yeah, we're... Look at that grub. Oh, a, yeah. Ginormous. But things just grow. Uh, let's hold that corner down. Yeah. I'm going to stand there. Yeah, set that. The things grow non-stop, so... Yeah, so. we're a little spoiled out here in Southern Cal. Pretty much... In our best interest, grow just most things of the year. Wow, those are gigantic grubs. Yeah. That's crazy. They're like jumbo shrimp, almost. Uh-huh. Look at that. See, look, there's one. Oh, there we go. Check that out. Score. Here, let's make a pop. This is going to be dinner, by the way. Ooh, there we go. There's one. Jackpot. A couple little guys. I'm going to try to salvage. There's one here. I'm just going to put this back in. See if it'll keep growing. Look at that. Yeah, as long as they got the root. Okay, yeah, we'll keep that. Mm -hmm. So let's follow this back. Try not to stretch it or stress it or snap it. Keep the yeah, integrity. Throw of that the root. right back in the dirt and it'll just produce, keep producing, right? Yeah, it's worth a shot. I don't know. In theory. I'm willing to find out. But I'm gonna keep the green stuff yeah. hanging out. Because I'll just Definitely. kinda remember. So as we put this back in.
Yeah, so all this. Yeah. Just gonna put it back in, see? Yeah. Got a few little guys started. Ball, yeah. Get close up. See it again in a couple months. I don't know. Maybe this would be easiest if you picked up a side with me. I know. I don't want to get my hands dirty. Oh, they want to die, <laughs> aren't you? We got gloves. Where are the gloves? Get down the gloves. Wait, I'm the camera guy. What am I gonna do with dirty hands? <laughs> or are we done? Well, need a shovel. All right, Brian. All right, so Where this is at? our harvest. We got a bunch oh, of sweet potatoes, down. and we're gonna go ahead and cook this up later to be continued. Okay, so now that we have the potatoes, we're gonna give them a good washing, a really good rinsing. You can see here that there's, there's, there can be holes in some of them, and this one has like a little discolored area. So the holes can often be the potato worms, the grub worm, the, the potato bugs, rather. Mm. This would be a good time. See, that's got kind of a messed up part. I'm just gonna make sure Take I. The whole part out. No, nope. You know, you, you want to open up, right. cut in, and if there's a hole and it goes down through, there could be all sorts of weirdness. So I want to check. Look at that. Look at this gorgeous color. It almost looks like a uh, like a Munster cheese or a cantaloupe or something. I mean, it's just kind of gorgeous. This one's good. So some of these are we really weird shaped. I don't want to try to cut it this way. I'm going to try to spin it so I can get one full cut down the middle. Like that. Whoa. Boom. Professional. Yeah. I have moments. The skins are where a lot of the great nutrients are. So if you want the health benefits of eating the food, which we all should, um, don't take the skin off. Please don't do that. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to soak this. Give it a nice little once over. So you want to light it in a few places. Groovy. I'm going to leave this up here and let it just kind of heat all this, sterilize, disinfect it. Actually, cool. before I do, one more thing. Okay, so olive oil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let it cook it for a little bit and then I'm going to spray it with olive oil after it's been cooked for a little bit. Cool. We want to let it go so the, the taste of the lighter fluid dissipates. When it turns gray then it's ready yeah. to cook. Alright so with uh, dinner tonight I'm going to grab some onions. These are way too packed in here if you can zoom in and see. It's really tight. There are a lot in there. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to kind of take the biggest one and it'll give them more space to grow. Now I hate taking them right before they go to seed, but we have onions? tons. Yeah, these are onions. Green onions, okay. Yeah, so th they're going to go to seed, seed and you get the seeds from here. Yeah. So I hate taking them at this stage, but like look how nice this one is. Here, let's take a look. Put it in there. Let's see if I can. Actually, you know what? Here's a hack. If you just where's the roots? I'm just gonna cut it off because that should regenerate and keep growing. So then obviously just peel off the slimy parts on the outside. Yeah. Cool. Ready for garnish. Go. Yeah, so this can go on the grill, get grilled up, salt and pepper, give it a quick rinse. Good stuff. 
Okay, we are in uh, Brian's backyard. The uh, coals flaming, getting ready to uh, cook some meat. Yeah, you know, and when you get together with your buddies, you talk about stuff, obviously. And I think we should talk about a few things. Five minutes, five bullet points. Don't really have the timer on me like I intended to, but let's see, five things going on in the world. Uh, March Madness, what's your takeaway from March Madness, Blake? What's um, it's been an exciting event. That was crazy. Uh, a little bit, yeah. I guess they were considered the overall favorite, but they did lose to uh, Michigan State, who was a two seed. So they lost to a very good team. It was uh, two uh, legendary coaches. That's true. Izzo and, and Coach K. And Izzo and drew up an amazing play to get uh, to get that three-pointer to take the lead right at the end of the game. It was well done. Um, but I'm probably paying more attention to the Munch Madness. We're doing a cereal bracket right. in our TNM Food and Drink group on Facebook, so follow us there. Um, okay, second time. Munch Madness, yeah. Munch Madness, yes. This is in the final four there. Did we oh, we yeah. have a cereal bracket. It's 64 right. cereals, and we're in the final four. What is it? Golden Graham, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Actually, there's two of them that still have to vote, so we'll see who wins that. Okay, it's a little early yet. But it's fun, so. Yeah, it's been a good time. Been a Join. Big Join the group. Yeah, join food and drink. We're Chris on Rock. sports. Chris Rock. Chris Rock? Okay. I want to talk about Chris Rock. Chris Rock was told not to make any Jesse Smollett jokes at the NAACP thing, so of course he <laughs> did. It was great. Good on him. I saw part of that, yeah. Yeah, it was just a, a quick clip, but, you know, good for, for him. He said, uh, you know, Jesse, I'm calling you Jesse. You didn't earn the you. You don't get my respect anymore. What were you thinking? You know, it was great. Finally calling him out on it, so that was good. Yeah. Um, you were saying staying on sports. Another bullet point. Well, this is an opening day, yeah, if you want to mm -hmm. discuss. So. How, how are your Indians doing? They played the Twins, right? Ah, uh, yeah, we got crushed today, so we're like one and two. Oh, all right. We're one and Don't worry, right there's, a, there's only 159,000 more games. <laughs> so that's true. Well, you got these down here. Yeah, those were over there. Okay. Um, Was it uh, freezing up there? They're in Minnesota, right? My backyard. It snowed today in Cleveland. Oh. Who oh, yeah. sent a picture? I don't know which would have been the worst opening day. It's uh, supposed to be the summer game. It's, uh, <laughs> it starts in the uh, yeah. It starts cold and ends cold. It's not even the October Classic anymore, isn't it? End of November now. It's, yeah, it's in the playoff games. I don't know. I th I think with baseball, you need you need to front load the roster, uh, front load the schedule, so that you're playing in California, so that you're playing in domed stadiums at the beginning of the season. Like I know everybody's excited for opening day and you want to play at home, but like. You know, you don't want attendance to be 4,000 people in a... That's, I've, I've had opening day in Cleveland with a snowstorm before. Like, come on, just push that through halfway through April. You know, really give... How about just cutting the season in, like, half? Because there's way too many games. Ah, uh, there's no such start thing. Start at May no. and end it. It should be, like, the... Uh, World Series should start, like, 1st of October or something. Yeah. Instead of the playoffs starting at the 1st of October. So there's that. It needs a 21st century makeover, Brian. Oh, what else? Yeah, well, no, I don't it's think so. I, I think I think there's some things that are universal, and I like that baseball's timeless that way, and that it is meant to eat the entire summer. It's intended to eat the whole summer. Yeah, that's good. When they, back into, in the day when they had into, nothing else to do. All right. Well, there's a million things to do. Don't pay attention. You don't have to change it. Right. And then, then there'd be a different number of games yeah, for absolutely. different players, and then that the stats would be different. Right. So I would say keep it. I would say keep it. Keep it as it. Traditionalist. You and Bill James. Who's Bill James? He's like one of those uh, big baseball gurus. Is he? I don't know. Who's he with? I don't know. Dude, You're a big I... uh, fan of Keith Olbermann, I know. Keith. You like his political opinions mostly, but you know, yeah. you still talk about baseball. Keith You're okay. Yeah. Man, what a what a guy. He gave up on that. He's just he doesn't say anything now. He just posts where, about. Where uh, is he? What's he doing? He's baseball. He's a baseball still doing analyst, it. and he's posting. You know pictures about adopting dogs and stuff oh that's pretty much his twitter geez. feed now how do you know i used to follow his twitter feed when i when he was like the leader of the resistance for trying to yeah. take it over <laughs> the whole gq thing. yeah what is the latest um we're doing five minutes five bullets what's the latest with the russian thing like with Mueller and i heard um uh, maddo is backing down she's keeping Keeping she's doubling around. down and no. cranking out more conspiracy theories and silly stuff. Might as well. That's her. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's her brand. At this point, yeah. She's the Alex Jones for this. You know, that's the point of the backyard. You, know, you invite your friends, you invite your family over, you, you have some meals, 
have some food, have a couple drinks, and you, you, you discuss stuff. You talk then about what's your going crazy on uncle comes over. And the crazy Fox uncle. Fox News, blah, blah, blah. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, check in with people. Check in with your neighbors. Check in with your friends. Invite them over. Go see them. Go do stuff. Don't just live behind your damn keyboard and your, your you know the thumbs of your smartphone. Um, come into the backyard. Light up the grill. Have some drinks. And talk about what's going on. Talk about the politics. Talk about the sports. Talk about all the stuff. And learn a little bit. On your headset while you uh, pretend grill on your... Uh... <laughs> VR uh, Sims game or what do they do now? <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do they pretend to grow on the? I don't the probably. Sims? Sweet. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 kind of wrap that up. That was like a quick five for five, and then the show me your steak challenge. I don't think we're quite ready here. We're getting close. Because I want to. I'm really excited to put this steak on, but I want to wait, make sure some of this. Uh, Later, flu burns off first. Then we'll be getting the steak on. So, thanks for checking it out. This is a, this is a pilot episode. You know, we're, we're just kind of getting together in the backyard. Two dudes just chilling in the backyard, talking about all the things, complicated world issues, and sports. From sports to geopolitics to world. mental health issues, like to, uh, showing way, your steak, eat yeah. some food. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's the stuff. Playing operation. It is. Good job, Brian. Thanks. So this is the temptation. This is what what must be avoided. Kind of wanting to pick it up and flip it and just keep messing with it. Don't. Yeah. Let's just do that. Okay. We just did. Searing the sides on it. Close it up. Sweet. Looking good. Got the steak here. Checked it. Looking nice. nice. These are sweet potatoes that were grown from the garden. Help yourself. Very good. Asparagus, uh, onion from the garden. Well done, Brian. Welcome and thanks for watching. And uh, next time, come in, come to our backyard. We're gonna have a party. <laughs> Brian's we'll backyard. Uh, all right. Brian's backyard barbecue. There you go. Have a good time. We'll talk. Maybe play some poker. Shoot some pool. Do some shots. I don't know. Talk sports. Some Whatever. Beer pong. Right. Politics. The drunker drunk. the better. Just kidding. Okay. Right. Thank you. We're done. Yeah. <laughs>